is Stefan Janoy. We're about to find out, Jim. Yep, well, I've been impressed with his demeanour since he arrived here. He really looks confident about the job, really looks to fancy the job, but stepping in with the right hand, he's uh, trying his arm quickly, so he wants to make an early impression boxing away from home. He's got some speed, likes to uh, put his combinations together and move forward. Jamoy, not afraid to take the fight right to his opponent. McDonald's got a good jab, if he can get set, get on the front foot. But Jamoy is fast out of the blocks here. See, there are advantages boxing at home, but it can tighten fighters up a little bit in the early stages, just trying too hard, feeling the pressure. But uh, Jamoy certainly very relaxed, it started quickly and impressively. Good body shots from the little Belgian man. And his country's colours. Finding the job. And again, and that's McDonald's weapon. He'll need to assert that fairly quickly. You'd feel. But a good right hand from Jamoy. And just up right there. Defensively open, McDonald. His reflexes don't seem as sharp as I've seen them in the past there. Uh, McDonald again, maybe that's just the, the strain, the tension, but you can't go into a 12 round of thinking about boxing yourself into it, especially when the other fellow starts at this pace. And maybe those two attempts on the scales as well, even though he's just 24, because he's struggling at that eight stone six limit. Might be physically bigger on the night here, but the uh, quick start from the challenger from Liège in Belgium. Some nice little feints and threats from Jamoy. He's only 21, but I think he's picked up this business pretty well, first impressions. He was a good amateur, Jim, 156 of 60 as well. Only one loss on the professional record, and that debatable, a controversial one out in Mexico. Well, he's been pretty adventurous in the opening round, Jamoy letting right hands go, trying to double the left hook a couple of times. So that confident look, maybe there's a good reason for it. He's finding the target. Looks slower to the punch, Jamie McDonald. Trying to dig them in and a good right hand, much better. Little toe-to-toe -to -toe at the end of the first round, which is a good one. But it's one that Jamoy takes. Good. So this is going to be as tough as we thought, I believe. The silver and pink of Jamie McDonald, who's in fight number 19. It's won 15, two defeats and a draw. Both defeats tight against Chris Edwards and Lee Haskins, but he's bang in form. But this Stefan Jamoy is too. And it's a confident, quick start. He's desperate to get his hands on this European belt. Just needs to settle, doesn't he? McDonald's a right hand, gets through that loose guard. He's getting caught with his head high too often. McDonald, he's leaning back, he wants to look at the punches coming his way when his chin should be a little bit lower. Good amateur himself and a nice left hand. McDonald has some power. And it's been developing, they've worked on that side of his game, and Jamoy just looks to say, oh, but he catches him with a counter! What drama here in the second round! And McDonald now has to cover up, and he's hurt! And Jamoy is not letting off him, and he almost goes down, he's holding on here, and there's so much time in the round! He is badly hurt! That one shook him to his boots. Jamoy complaining about the holding, but he has to do that to survive. Grab hold, just do whatever's necessary, but don't engage. Another right hand from Jamoy, who looked down at his family at ringside to say, how about this? But back comes McDonnell. A rip-roaring start to this European title fight and our new year. I'm looking to see if the strength is back in McDonnell's legs. I don't think it is. So there won't be any purchase in these punches, that's a little bit better. 
The crowd try to rally and get behind Jamie McDonald. But he's finding him easy to hit. Jamoy, these clusters and the speed. He shipped a couple himself, though, Jamoy. What a round. Yeah, but what a good little pro he is proving to be. Inflicted a lot of damage in this round. OK. McDonald has seemed to have ridden the storm a bit from firing back. But he had to ship some painful punches there. Digging in. Trying to get the jab going again on the right hand. Catches Jamoy. Well, this warming up ever so nicely. Just wonder how much uh, Jamoy has used up there because he gave it everything. And uh, sensibly, Jamie McDonald tucked up, weathered the storm. Utilising the ring there, just trying to get some spring back in the step. McDonald and an uppercut too. Battle of the jabs. What a round of boxing. Wonderful. on favourite that late money on him maybe they knew something we've had our spies looking at Jamoy all week one of those Spencer Oliver he's pretty good isn't he yeah he certainly is isn't there there was an air of confidence as he walked into the arena we sensed that he could be something a little bit special and he certainly started that way took the centre of the ring and he's been beating McDonald to the punch that's been the difference here landing some good shots and he's also taken some good shots as well Good body shot there from McDonald. Does he want to trade though against Jamoy? Well, he's going to have to have hard enough to stop him in these tracks. Jamoy likes to come forward. There's the right hand again from Jamoy. McDonald looking a little bit better here, but can he sustain it? That's a red hot pace already. Sweat pouring from both fighters. A cold night in South Yorkshire, but there is plenty of heat inside that ring. And most of it's coming from the fast fists of Stefan Jamoy. This is a good response from McDonald. I mean, he can't go on the move, he has to find a way to stand his ground and meet this fellow head on, try to drive him back. Jamoy putting a lot into these punches, so you wonder, can you do this for 12 rounds? Sinks a good left hook into the body there, Jamie McDonald. Could this be a real coming-of-age night? If he can just contain the speed and out tough, maybe even outlast this Stefan Jamoy. This the round where he made his first successful defence in this ring against Rodrigo Bracco, but that was one-sided. This anything but. And Jamoy still claiming the centre of the ring, still driving McDonald back. Just a little bit busier at this point in the round. Body That's shot better. though, Jim. A couple there just seemed to dip the legs of Jamoy. Now the Yorkshireman saying, have a bit back. Yeah, good response from McDonald. This is what he has to do. Nice left hook. Jamoy just becoming a little bit ragged at the moment. Going for broke, but he loses his composure a little bit. Good stuff again from McDonald. A fight back from McDonald has to take a couple there, but these body shots just beginning to have a little bit of a detrimental effect on Jamoy, certainly a pointer to him. I think it's one of these fights you have to look and think who is the most comfortable looking at the moment, and I think that's Jamoy. I think McDonald is doing enough to nick this round. This is really a close round. I think at the moment he's doing enough just to nick it. But who looks more comfortable with this kind of fight? I think it's Jamoy. I'm not sure, Jim. I think McDonald might be. Great little battle here. Just bangs his fist together there. Jamie McDonald, but Stefan Jamoy goes straight back into the middle of the ring. It was interesting, you sort of felt that Jamoy maybe had more of a control in that last one and looked more comfortable. McDonald does as well. No, I just thought he was happier with this style of fight than McDonald. I think McDonald would like to use a bit more boxing, get a bit of distance between the two, whereas Jamoy is happy to be up close in this kind of exchange. Robin Dolpierre, the referee, just watches as the 
Leather flies around, just shoves Chamoy back there again, a little ticking off, and the Belgium corner not happy about that. It's this pocket of Belgium fans just to your left, Jim, who are on their feet, willing their man on every step of the way in this difficult atmosphere for a visitor. So Moyes worked is maybe a little bit more forced than it was in the first couple of rounds. I just wonder how much Steve, every punch he's putting, every ounce he has into every punch. Good job from him. Both are answering each other. Wielding in the hooks and a right hand again. McDonald's left. Low. And the jab just getting through McDonald. And that's not going to please his corner. Whipping these punches in, Chumoy, looking like he won't be denied. McDonald, what a hard night's work ahead. Yeah, really is a little buzzsaw, and this is what I mean when I say this is the kind of fight that he has planned. He wants to keep close, he wants to exchange punches. He feels he can do it for the 12 rounds. Good job again from Jamoy. Can he though? Will it come down to a gruelling war and stamina questions and heart as well? Jamie McDonnell, he's taken it seriously, the sport, in the last year or two. For the first time, he admits, in many years. Bit of a partier, bit of a playboy, he's knuckled down. Just pushing the gloves out there, McDonnell needs to put a little bit more snap into those punches. Wrapping with the left there, cuff of the inside of the glove, a body shot back from McDonnell, that's good tactics under the right elbow of Chamoy, try and slow him down, won't be slow.